Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Shelter 3. We are about to cross the desert to go to the Hot Geyser, but we are going to get some food first because I do not want to be hungry going through that desert. Okay, I think everybody's eaten. Okay, everybody should be good now. I started running, but then I realized that that's probably not a good idea. Because there's like no food up ahead. I think this might be water. Maybe a little. No, I don't think it is. So we're down to two other adults, or three including me, four I guess, including the matriarch, but I still don't know if she's like spiritually here or physical, but she never has to eat so that's why I didn't really include her, because I don't have to worry about her dying I don't think, and I'm not too worried about me either. Come on fella, keep up, you're lagging behind back there. So, two adults I gotta worry about feeding, and three, that three little young ones I gotta worry about feeding, although one is still nursing, so that does make it a bit easier. We probably ought to stop off for these plants wherever we go. I'm not too worried about me, but they, they need some food all the time. Come on, guys. I'm trying not to take it from you. See, mine is already hungry, so they can, like, eat that if they're hungry real quick. Are you eating? Okay. That's a really awkward angle to be, like, drinking, but I think it's still drinking because I can't move. Okay, okay. There it is. All done. And if anybody wants this grass here, they should get it. There we go. Try to keep them as well fed as possible. I don't know if that bar down there is for the entire herd or just me. I never really thought about it before. I don't know. I'm not- okay, there is- does seem to be like a- quite a bit of grass up ahead though. Which it doesn't feed us that much, but if we could get to that, I think that could keep us held over until we get to some apple trees somewhere. Cause that's a- that's a fair bit of grass. So far, I think we're doing pretty alright. And that might be the Smoke Mountain over there. Maybe we would have ended up heading in like pretty much the same direction either way. No matter what path we chose. Who knows? I don't know how these rhinos honestly live out here. There's like nothing to eat. I'm not seeing any apple trees still, but if we can get to this grassy area, there's the geyser, so we're almost there. If we can get to this grassy area and just feed off the grass for a little bit, I think that would keep us well fed enough to not have somebody die on us again. As much as it sucks that one of our herd members did pass away, I think it does make it a bit easier to keep the rest of the herd well fed because that's one less mouth we have to feed as much as that sucks. Oh, 
and there are apple trees up ahead too, but they're way over there. We're just going to worry about getting to this grass first. I think these little buffalo have the right idea. Wow, there's a lot of them. And we're honestly, okay, they're getting kind of hungry, but the bar is only a little less than half right now, so that's not too bad. I think if we, like, eat this grass, we can make it to, we can make it to the, uh, the apple trees. There's more up there as well. I'm gonna try not to, like, eat the little bushes before they get to it. Oh, I just ate one, though. <laughs> Oops. Alright, come on, fellas, come eat. There's a lot of grass around here. Make sure the little ones get some too. There he goes, that one finally ate. That one over there still hasn't ate, I don't think. And the big one, of course, is still hungry. Now my little one's hungry. I think I'm gonna head to the apple trees first. Just to get them well fed, because I can see them right over there. And then I'm going to head toward the geyser. If I can, anyway. Yeah, it's like in, right next to each other, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and just run for it, because I feel like we need to get there pretty quickly. And there's two right here, so that should be enough to feed us pretty well. I don't want any more to die on us. Is everybody eating? Okay, so I didn't eat anything just then, but one of the little ones did, and the bar got raised. So, I do think that is the meter for the entire herd. So if I eat, I guess it replenishes them as well. Somehow. <laughs> I assume, anyway. I'm not sure. But we should be fully fed by now. Can you feel them near? Just beyond these ridges, our herd awaits us. Come closer and we'll forge a path together. Okay. Alright, so we are on the last path. A storm is coming, Reba, but we must make it through, past the maze of stone where the rest of our herd awaits.
Okay, so here we are. Alright, and we need to head that way. So I think that is the Smoky Mountain that we were before. So on the last playthrough, our first playthrough, we came like... I'm in smoke. Or steam, whatever that is. We came from like that way toward the Smoky Mountain and then that way toward where our herd or gravestones were. So we're actually pretty close to where we were before. And there are like tons of apple trees, so I don't think we need to go that slow now either, since we're no longer in the desert. None of them are too hungry right now anyway. Oh, here comes like the storm again. I really, I don't know, it gave like dark music just then, but I don't think there's actually any danger to it. I don't think any of my family ever have that little exclamation point over their head. It's just really dark and it's storming. I don't know. We'll be careful. Maybe we like have a chance of losing somebody in this. We don't want anybody to disappear. Because we are literally almost there. Hey look, there's a little bunny on the ground too! That is so cool. I don't know if I noticed them on the last playthrough or not. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Yeah, everybody does seem to be lagging behind a bit. Hold on, dead end, let's go around. And then my little baby's hungry. I'm thinking of actually doing another playthrough. It's such a short game. But... I want to do like another one because we never did figure out like I, what I think is supposed to be a lion. Oh, what is that? Somebody's hungry. We are literally almost there though. I'm going to let him get like some grass because I don't see any apple trees near us. I guess we were running a little bit too much. I wasn't paying attention to the meter. Let them eat. I think this bar is for everybody. I'm still not sure about that. But if I eat, they should like not be as hungry maybe? I don't know. If the bar fills up. Eat as much grass as possible with bushes. Now they're still acting like they're pretty hungry though. I don't know. Let's see. There's like no apple trees nearby though, so we're gonna have to make do with what we got, I think. I wonder if I just like complete the the quest if they'll like not be hungry anymore there's plenty of grass here guys just eat it's like the little brown one here and then the other two I think the other two big ones I mean we're pretty low on food but we're also almost there oh I think I saw apple trees up ahead 
Oh man, all that running. If I get somebody killed, like, right before we're gonna get to the end, I'm gonna be so mad. But there's so much grass here. Just eat some, guys. Okay, the big one's eating. Maybe the little one only eats grass? I don't know. I think I did see some apple trees up ahead. Or that might be more grass. I don't know. Although I don't think we're going that way anyway. That's like toward the bamboo. I think we did that like last time except... I don't know. We might have been on this side. But I thought we were on the other side. And we came through to go this way. Possibly. I mean, there's like a big bush for somebody to eat here. If I can get them near it. That one, that little one ate it. That's good. Oh, my poor little fella's hungry again. Riva, we've arrived. See how beautiful it is. Come close now, they are waiting. You know, I don't understand though. Why is the matriarch saying that? How is this beautiful? I mean, I guess it is. In a really eerie, depressing kind of way, but... I don't know. I think what it could be, my little theory on it, is that this is like our ancestor's graveyard, and the matriarch is supposed to guide us back to here because we kind of like lost our way and was separated from them for a while. And as I've said before, elephants do go back and like visit their dead ones wherever they died. And so I guess we're trying to like connect with their dead ancestors spiritually, and that's why I think in a bit we can see the, the, like, ghost, I guess, or spirit. They do also seem awfully sad, but... It's like fog, I think. They all seem pretty sad, but I think they would be sad whether they died, like, just now, or whether they, like, have been long dead. heartbroken. Yep, see? And then there's like so many big ones, so that leaves me to wonder if those are in fact like mammoths maybe? Or I don't know, maybe not even that, but just like a little further back when elephants might have been bigger. I don't know. Because some of those elephants are kind of small, and some of them are massive. Huge, look at that thing. And then some are tiny, does that mean like, I don't know, those are the babies that died? That would suck. I don't know. But these are a lot of elephants though, and I'm betting they didn't all just like randomly die right in that spot. It's probably over a long period of time that was like our ancestors' graveyard, our family. And we have been separated from them for quite a while by that point. And the matriarch led us back. And unfortunately then passed away so she could pass on the star. The, the, the gift to me, I suppose. And now I am matriarch. And now we stay connected with our herd spiritually. Because, you know, she helped us find our way there. I don't know. I kind of like that theory. It's not what I expected. I thought the actual living herd would be waiting for us, but it's better than thinking that they all died because we took too long and something got them. But alas, we did lose one elephant, but we did 
keep more alive this time than we did last time, where before we lost three, including a little baby, and this time we only lost one adult. So I don't know, I might give it another playthrough, because we never did see what that other predator was. I don't know, I'll have to see. But I will see you guys on the next series or episode, whatever it may be, and I will see you guys next time.